Hey, Joel. Hey. What do you got there? Box. What is it? Did you know what it is? Because we did. What is oh, it? um, it's uh, baseball cards from '88. Oh. I'm so excited. When are you gonna open it? You know how much I paid for it? Uh, ten bucks. One dollar. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah One dollar. Yeah, yeah. Wow. One dollar. Wow. That's it gets crazy. Better. I didn't get the box. The box we had from something else, and I guess <laughs> it's for production. It's a prop. Okay. It's to add to the magic, but the okay. box is from something else. If the contents of the box and the box itself were just one dollar, I wouldn't want it. Okay. Nice to have a little package, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They say that good things come in small packages. <laughs> okay, so let's get this party started. Uh, no, we have to start the party the right way. Okay. This is the first premium prestige content that is available to you, not just here where you're watching it for free, but WWST TV in the United States. Guess okay. what they call it or stand for? What? Because it's the United States. Guess mm -hmm. what they call it or stand for? What? When we stand together. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but you have to tell everyone what you're wearing in honor oh. of this unboxing because you in can't ECW, really see it. In ECW, back in 1999, probably 2000, back when I was 24 or 25, all the boys, we went to Comiskey Park, and we sat in a suite, and it's one of three public places aside from Anarchy Rules 2000, and my match with Cyrus, where I portrayed White Kamala Y2K. Probably when I purchased this, uh, this is an original, by the way. You'll an see, original what? You'll see Mitchell and Ness replicas, and that's okay. Not everybody was around in the year 2000, or bought one of these, or kept it. But it's an original, authentic, majestic Chicago White Sox away colors. Frank Thomas, so big it's hard to keep from hurting her. Big hurt, number 35, Frank Thomas. Wow. And you kept it in such good shape. I did, I never wear it. <laughs> okay, so let's get this party started. Okay. These baseball cards are from when Frank Thomas was in his heyday, just about. Maybe a year or two before. These are from 1988. And the first of the two packs that we're going to open today. Leaf. 1988 Leaf baseball cards. Leaf was not one of the big three. Like Tops, Donruss, or Fleer. And then around like 88, 89, 90, you're getting into like upper deck and score. Leaf was not necessarily one of those, except it kind of was. Because remember, in the league back then, there was not only the Toronto Blue Jays, but there was also the Montreal Expos. Leaf was a product of Donruss, or a sub of Donruss. And it was made in Bannockburn, Illinois. So it was an American company. But... It was distributed in Canada by one of their candy companies, Leaf Confections, Toronto, Canada. Okay, you're so building up this steel. anticipation. So this Come English on. And French. You're building up all this anticipation. Come on, you gotta start opening it. So they did a Stan <clears throat> Musial puzzle as their legend the puzzle that year. So inside this wax pack are three puzzle pieces and then also ten cards from the collection of two hundred and sixty-four cards from 1988 okay come on this wax opens so easy that you almost wonder like how hold it up stay so people can see years. shut up i almost spat on what might be the best card of the pack because it's at the top well the back of it is so it's at the bottom so we'll get to it kind of as a main event i hope this is what i think it is I don't want to look. I don't want to jinx it. Oh, WWST TV, guess how much they're paying? Did I tell you already? No. $500. What? Yeah. 
I asked them if I could do 20 or 30 minutes for that. Mm. You know what they told me? What? 12 and a half. And if it's short, that's okay. They're going to insert ads. You're at five right now. I'm at five. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to move on because there's one more pack after this. <clears throat> you ready? Here are the puzzle pieces. Ooh. Three consecutive puzzle pieces Weird. that go towards the Stan Musial puzzle. Huh. And here are the 10 baseball cards. These players all from 1988 Major League Baseball. Oh, the Oakland Athletics. These are in mint condition, by the way. Gem Mint 10. Oakland Athletics. Canseco. McGuire. And Dave Stewart. 1988. Leaf. Looks like Donruss. 1988 with the blue back. Gem Mint 10. Pack that I got for 50 cents today and a pack that has never been opened in 30 years. Come on. Next. Dave Stewart. <coughs> Next. Shut up. Some of these are not Gem Mint 10s. They're nine and a halfs, but that's okay. Ken Griffey. And I know I quoted Nickelback before in a way when we stand together. And the deal on this was I was hoping to at least get my dollar back. And I think with those two cards alone, I'm already in excess of $1 value. As we go to the Pittsburgh Pirates and Vicente Palacios. Aha! I remember this dude talking about score, talking about upper deck, talking about the late 80s. In Boston, you're talking about Ellis Burks. Philadelphia Phillies, although I know he's played for more teams than just that, but in 88 on the Phillies roster, you're looking at the catcher, Lance Parrish. What a great pack. Toronto Blue Jays, Dave Steeb. Keep in mind, Leaf did 264 cards in an entire set, not 792, like Tops. So they didn't go all the way up and down all 26 rosters. They only took pretty much the starting lineups. I almost should have opened this one second, but we'll see. Kent Herbeck from the Minnesota Twins. Charlie Huff from the Texas Rangers. Solid. I don't so, know any so of these on. people. Back to the Phillies. <coughs> Not great odds to get Just two Ken Phillies Griffey. in the same pack, but I got it. Juan Samuel. Phillies second baseman, 1988. And the card that I was looking at before, um, and it shows that Leaf was indeed affiliated with Donruss... Uh, and it's not his regular card, it's his Diamond Kings card, but also quite valuable, arguably maybe the most valuable one in the pack. You are looking at a man who was lighting the entire league on fire in 1988. You are looking at the Donruss Diamond King card of Will Clark. Will Clark, San Francisco Giants. So those are the ten cards and the three puzzle pieces um, from that 1988 Leaf Wax Pack. This is not a wax pack. This is a um, plastic pack. This is a larger pack. This is Topps, which was the top baseball card company in 1988 in the United States and for Major League Baseball. Uh, they did wrestling cards. They did cards for everything. I'm pretty sure they did the Garbage Pail Kids. They did everything. Um, in here, you don't get 10 cards and three puzzle pieces. You get 28 cards, but keep in mind, their set, their collection for 1988, three times larger than what Leaf did, 792 cards. So there are common cards, as they were called, guys who didn't play a lot, guys who were just coming into the league, guys who were in AAA at the time, that kind of thing. My director's telling me to wrap it up, isn't that nice? My floor director, who I'm blessed to live with. Good looking out, money. We're going to go quicker with these. Pat Sheridan. Oh, nice. Greg Nettles. Wait, that's a... Yeah, yeah, former Yankee. Mm -hmm. 
Greg Nettles. You're looking at Boston Red Sox, Bruce Hurst. We're going to auction some of these off, I think, because I know where to get these again for the same price. And I like some of these because some of them I'm not going to auction off. I'm not auctioning off all 38 today right now, but some of them I will. Maybe give some money to charity. Maybe reinvest. Maybe for Cliff Compton. Who wants to see me do another Mr. Coliseum, right? Episode 3 of Mr. Coliseum, episode 4 all around. Maybe Cliff Compton, you'll get your wish. Um, that's another day. Me being unemployed in Howard uh, Johnson. semi-charmed kind of paradise. Howard Johnson, <coughs> New York Mets, 1988. They were big in 88. They weren't as big in 88 as they were in 86, but they were big in 88. They did really well in the NL East. Andy Allenson from the Cleveland Indians. Gotta love, the, <laughs> gotta love these hairstyles, oh, too. Wow. A gem mint 10. 1988 tops. Managerial level. Don Mattingly. This is wow. one of those that I know for sure today. And you can check my social media tomorrow or Monday. This is one that I know <laughs> that I'm either going to auction or I'm not going to auction. I have to figure that one out. Mike Kingery, Seattle Mariners. Talking about managerial level, the 1988 manager card, because Topps did make 792, so they included all the managers. So the manager of the New York Mets 30 years ago today, Davey Johnson, who was listed on the card, I think, as Dave Johnson? Yes. Dave Johnson. Houston Astros, Jose Cruz. Oakland's Tim Burtzis. Baltimore's Mike Boddicker. Oh, another great 1988 card. Another one. Another one in the Mattingly category. Dodgers pitcher Oral Hershiser. Dodgers ace. My dad Oral loves him. <coughs> yep, I remember your dad saying. Another manager. Talking about the manager of the St. Louis Cardinals in 1988. You're talking about Whitey Herzog. Hmm. What a great pack it's turning out to be. Baltimore Orioles, John Habian. Hey, guess what, Boogie? Guess what, Boogie? What? Guess what, Boogie? You know what Tops included in all their packs? 30-year-old yeah. gum. <laughs> this gum is older than a third of you people watching. Gross. Should I eat it? I'm going to eat no, it. No, don't eat it. Why couldn't I eat it? Don't. It's gross. Do you know what's in that gum? Stuff Stop that me when there's something that's no good for me. Dextrose. No good. Corn syrup. No good. Gum base. No good. Softeners. No. Can't you tell there's softeners <laughs> in this thing? You can't tell? Don't. Watch. Look how soft it is. No, I'm not doing it. Stop. Stop. Super soft. New York Yankees, Tim Stoddard. Boston Red Sox, Tom Bolton. California Angels, Donnie Moore. Mm -hmm. 1988, California Angels, Donnie Moore. Another New York Met, Dave Magadan. Billy's Action Mike Jackson. Dodgers Bob Welch. Chicago Cubs Jerry Mumphrey. Oh, nice. Cleveland Indians Joe Carter. That's a solid card. Toronto Blue Jays Joe Johnson. San Diego Padres, James Steeles. Hmm. Look at this. Texas Rangers, Charlie Huff, making another appearance. So I've got Charlie Huff, 88 Leaf from the other pack. 88 Tops right here, Charlie Huff. Definitely auctioned one of those off, I think. Oakland Athletics, Luis Polonia, big in 88. Big. Houston Astros, Gerald Young. 
and Cincinnati Reds, Bill Landrum. Wow. That's the deal. <laughs> so, there you have it. Um, 38 cards from two different packs, uh, three puzzle pieces, a piece of gum that I'm going to make sure the cat goes nowhere near. Um, and I'm going to try to figure out what to do with these 38 cards because, again, the investment was only $1. Uh, I'm not going to auction them all off. So let's say I auction off 15 or 20 of them. Um, am I expecting to make back more than a dollar? Am I expecting to get my dollar back? Yes, I am. Uh, how much I'm expecting to get? Anybody's guess. I'm not exactly Mr. Coliseum, so I'm certainly not Mr. Baseball Stadium. But if you would like to see which of these get auctioned off, and if you'd like to be involved in the auction, uh, if you'd also like to request personally any of these, maybe a favorite player, maybe a favorite team, one of these that you'd like to have more than any other, let me know. Uh, send me uh, a reply, a comment, anything like that. Um, I was happy to... Are, how did we come in on time? Are we anywhere near 16 12? 16 minutes. 16. All right, well, I guess WWST is going to have to deal with it, or we're going to have to edit it. So then that's it for now, and uh, we'll see you at the ballgame.